fellow compatriots, I salute you all. My name is Prince Uechim Ezevicha, the national leader of the Biafra Nations with the BNYF. Um, I want to speak with respect to the ongoing uh, NSAS protest nationwide, particularly in the South. I don't know, I may have a different opinion from others. Um, a lot of people have been calling me to know my position. And I have also issued a series of statements in the paper regarding this. I'm speaking currently from Abuja, and uh, I witnessed uh, the, the attack that took place in Apu. And when I posted that it affected the Igbo, some people were saying I'm being sectional. Yes, as a separatist, I have to be sectional. You don't expect me to come and jump up for answers or start supporting anything in the interest of Nigeria. No. As a separatist, I must be divisional. In my own. I was able to observe and discover that the North are not interested in these answers. In fact, the 19 state governors of the North have made it clear that SARS should be brought to the North, that they are, they are fully in support. The Arewa Youth Group, another northern group, have also made it clear that the North are not part of this. And um, some of them are also, we, those in the North will we, 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 we tell you better. They are now saying that the aim of the protest is to bring down their brother, Muhammad Buhari. And who are they referring to? They are referring to the South Easterners. They are attack. No house man have vehicle in that area. It is the Igbo property that were destroyed. The cars, that mechanic village, is dominated by Igbo people. If you doubt me, go there and find out. They mobilized the indigenous, the Baiki indigenous, attack that place and burn down the cars. In Sabon, the Rikano State, the same thing. They went to the church. Now tell me what concerns church, concerns Ensa's protest. They went to the church burned down the church. It wasn't enough. They went to the shops. They, they, they broke into all the shops, looted the properties of the strangers there. And you are telling me we are one Nigeria, we should, we should fight as one. It's a multi-ethnic movement. It is not a multi-ethnic movement. But it's very, very unfortunate that our own people the protest in the south is not even affecting the government, but affecting the, the private businessmen. Why do we go about destroying people's shops? Private owners, owned by private uh, 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 businessmen. In Asaba, I got a report. I also saw videos of people's cars burnt. And these people are neither, they are not police people. They are not army people. They are not government of uh, government. Uh, 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 they are not politicians. They are just businessmen, people struggling to survive. They went to abandon the cars. In Akwaibom, I saw people crying. I saw people posting online that their only survivor, means of survival, has been destroyed. And we call that answers. Now, let's assume, yes, that we know that the government can go extra mile to mobilize these hoodlums, these criminals that are part of this protest. 
But these criminals are still our people. They are still our people. Destroying properties of their own people. If we destroy these properties, how do we expect to survive? Now tell me, how do we expect to survive? And tomorrow you say the house man does not have sense. Tomorrow you come and tell me the Igbo man has sense more than the house man. Or the Eshik man has sense more than the house man. Did, did you hear that any northern, in any, did you hear that any property was destroyed in the north? Instead, they are destroying our own property while we are busy doing answers. The house of people, the northern people are busy destroying the property of our people, of our people there. Because they see this as a plot to overthrow Buhari. Why can't we use our senses? And when I make statements that expressing myself, some stupid set of people were countering me. Because they cannot reason the way I reason. They have refused to see it the way I see it. Many people say, yes, it's a multi ethnic. It started in, in the West. But how far? How many Yoruba properties have been destroyed in the North? Today, some uh, Yoruba group are now saying that the attack and the destruction of shops and property in Lagos is was done by the Igbo people. They are not trying to be sectional. I don't like dancing to the gallery. Let's, let us stop dancing to the gallery. This answers movement started in River State. When Governor Yeso Wike was fighting against them, nobody said anything. No governor came out to say anything, to support him. No governor, no politician made any comment to support River State people. And now it has affected everybody. You see everybody coming now, it has not turned to campaign and means of, means of, uh, 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 means of political campaign. So you vote for them tomorrow. Please let us stop this nonsense. Don't destroy your own people's property. Stop destroying by it. This it doesn't concern. It is not the business worry. The business, uh, uh, the, the private businessmen you are destroying their property are also citizens like you. They are also uh, uh, ordinary people on the road like you. They are struggling to survive just like you are. Why trying to? Why, 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 why trying to, 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 to bring them back to square one? It's unfair. It's unfair. Let's just channel our energy to the federal government, to those evil politicians, and not individual businessmen. Thank you very much. I remember you as a service faithfully, Prince Richard.